Yeah. Yeah, I think that's kind of where the the session ended off with you guys down at the lake. Um, I think. Uh, Was it much swimming? Yeah, I think Mallory went for a bit of a swim. Yeah, I went for a swim too. That's right. That's right. Uh, um, dog yeah. and a duck. Yeah. In the pond. How's your um mic going, Reese? It is not going well. In fact, it is getting dicey. <laughs> Uh, I'll just say to you, so again, so you guys have made it to the lake at the, at the end of the night, perfectly with sunset. Um, uh, you notice the glittering spire off in the, in the distance, which has helped give you a bit of a, a direction for where to head. If you're wanting, if you are wanting to continue heading towards it. Uh, and I was just asking if there's anything you wanted to do before venturing off into the, the dark twisting shapes of the iron forest, probably tomorrow morning. I'm assuming not, not now. Uh, and I said I will take first watch because the goblins did not do a very good job last time. Great idea, Mallory. I'll take second watch. Grub is like looking really like ashamed. It's he's okay, like, Grub. He's like walking around near the lake. He's just kind of like you told him he's not going to like keep watch, and he's just like kicking. Like you... He's kicking rocks down by the lake. You can keep watch with me. You just need to learn how to do it properly. You'll, you'll be okay. Oh, okay. Perhaps, Grub, while you're on watch, you could collect a few rocks for us. Oh, he's he's super excited by that. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, mm, yeah, I can do that for you. Thank you. Well, he's like the apprentice. We could send him down to the shop for a tin of tartan paint and a Johnson rod. <laughs> the, um... No? Ch- <laughs> <laughs> okay. Johnson rod is. <laughs> Always with the like very uh, common uh, references there that everyone picks up on. <laughs> I, I thought everyone knows that when you've got someone who's like a bit yeah. of a numpty, who's new to a job, like grubbers, to keep in watch, you kind of prank them a little bit and say, oh, mm-hmm. pick up some left handed screws. Right, right. And, you know, they come back and they're like, oh, you got me. Bunch of blue collar um, workers here on uh, tonight's stream, I think, to really. <laughs> I'm just such a man of the people. <laughs> yeah. You got the common touch. That's what they say. <laughs> well, I don't think there's any I'm I'm gonna dry off and I'm gonna I think Well, I'll have um how do you feel about if I have to, uh if I just sleep the night through? Have you have anything about that? You've That's certainly fine. earned it. Yes. Go for it, should be. You're not looking in the best shape, so perhaps a bit of kip will do you good. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> I do need to work out a bit more. Well, no, um, no, I mean, like, <laughs> you've taken a beating in recent times, haven't you? So, yes, yes, I was. I almost died. <laughs> uh, Sorry to break up all grits, but quite literally. Perhaps I should let sleeping dogs lay. Yes, especially once I'm asleep. Mallory, I'll keep watching the second half of the night so Digby can get a good night's rest. That's great. Have so I, so you, it'll be you and Wilgis and oh. me and Grub. Two um, shifts? Chub, Split shifts. Chub's like, uh, so I can just sleep the night through then, yeah? Yes, take care of take care of the animals first, and then you can head off. To as it. soon as you said yeah, he's just like started like walking off to like he's get asleep. his stuff. He's just he's good to go. Can you um give me, life? Can you give me a bushcraft, <laughs> uh, Digby? Can you give me a bushcraft in regards to your tent with a with a uh, boom? Yes, with a uh, I might just have to roll it. Oh no, I've got a boon on. So tent. Mm-hmm. Bushcraft. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit slow. There you go. In real life, I'm very tired. So uh, I need an eight, but I got a ten. Did it roll two of them? Uh, it did roll two. You rolled a 13 and a 10. I'm going to push it. <clears throat> okay. I need a better bushcraft skill. 
A three. Yes. Nice. That'll work. Lucky. You get yourself a condition, though. So what are you going to tick over? Well, I'll be going to sleep, but I'll choose sickly. Okay. Okay, perfect. So you wait. So you just, I guess you're so exhausted from the day, you're putting up this tent, you're struggling with it, and you start. What well, you start getting a little, a little bit queasy, throw up in your mouth a little bit, and swallow no, it down. I'm gonna throw up and swallow it down. I think. I think I might just feel uh, a bit of a temperature. Mm -hmm. I don't have like dysentery or <laughs> I'm, vo I'm swallowing my own vomit. Well, dogs have just vomited up and then just like oh. eat it straight off the ground, right? Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe dogs with, uh, don't have a family with 27 children and a double-story house. They're paying the mortgage Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, Digby, you've got the tent up. It's sorted. Uh, you, you're able to just get to bed if that's, if that's what Digby's up to. Yeah, okay. Yeah, make yourself comfortable, everyone. The tent is set up. It had a bit of trouble, but it's uh, looking, it's in order now. Cool. You sort of look back to get back into the tent, and Chubb has just like made a little corner in the in the corner of the tent. He's already almost asleep. Oh, I didn't I didn't expect Chubb to be sleeping in here. No, I won't mention it. I'll just fall asleep. And we'll <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay. So and so, who's keeping watch? It's Mallory and uh, Grub keeping watch the for the first shift, uh, and the other rest of you two, um, uh, Wilgis, Christoph, you. Head to sleep as well, or is there something you guys wanted to do before your shift? Nope. Cool. Um, I'd say that uh, just to uh, just speed things along, the night is fairly uh, uneventful. Um, there's a lot of weird noises coming from the iron forest, uh, sort of past the lake and towards out towards that spire. Um, there's sort of the type of uh, sound you'd expect from night, uh, not the nightlife, but bird life in the, at night um and like uh pet shop boys <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, um, is it like a spooky animal like wolves or something there's, or? there's stuff that you'd like that uh like i said like owls and, and insects but then there's also uh sounds you've never heard before that don't sound uh, inviting by any means that so sort of growls and and howls throughout the night coming from oh. just out towards that iron forest so out towards the north out towards the northeast it's sort of just all out towards the north um uh which i think keeps uh whoever's keeping watch on edge a little bit um but you guys have, have kept your eyes uh open for the whole night across all of you and everything is is fine everything's fine um and it's the morning you wake up in the morning uh what's the what's the morning routine for uh for, for digby is he the last to wake or what's the yeah he's probably thinking about going back to bed <laughs> okay <laughs> um what about wilgus what about you wilgus how was your shift uh what is sort of wilgus's plans for the morning uh wilgus used his intuition yesterday so his willpower was feeling a bit drained i click on shift rest yeah 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 that's right Oh wait, uh, is it shift, man? How do we not know what to click yet? Yeah, cool. Um, if you click Please. on just the word shift, it Nailed should. It. Thank yeah. you. Oh, good morning, everyone. I think today's a great day for some going to that place which we decided to go. How about we just start nice and early? What do you guys think? Head north. We know where it is. Mm-hmm. What's hey, the rush? Why don't we stick around here for a while? It's nice oh, pond. Oh, did you not hear the noises from the woods last night, man? You're, you're probably out to it, but I'll tell you what, when Milgus and I were on shift, they were hooting and hollering and all sorts of weeping and woeing coming from that forest. I don't think oh. it's a great place around here. I did no, just put it... the kettle on. I was about to teach Grub and and chum how to skip stones on the on the pond but uh we can we can set off straight after the the tea and um grub by the way wilgus um uh, as part of your shift just before you started, did take over he supplied you with just like a, a relatively decent sized mound of of uh rocks that was built up next to the cart that he sort of built up for you he was super happy and he him and chubba sort of still asleep uh in the tent um sort of lying against each other making 
snoring noises and horrible gro- goblin <laughs> goblin noises. Uh, maybe while the, the kettle is boiling, uh, Wilgus will arrange those rocks into a big circle. Um, so that when they wake, he can show them the circle rock. Circleness. <laughs> yeah. mm. Hey, nice. Um, well, I got to say, it's not too long before they, they sort of get up. Um, Grub is doing what he's always been doing to help you guys out, putting everything back into the cart. He's helping pull down the tent um, while Grub is, is sort of just tending to the warg. Make sure that you guys use your daily rations if, you, uh, if you're wanting to choose the morning as your point to eat. What is How is everyone's rations looking? I've got two rations left. How about we eat now, and then if we get stuck in battle in the forest, then we don't have to stop to eat. What do you guys think? Great idea. Mm. After breakfast, I've got six rations left. If anyone needs some food. I've got eight. Eight, eight quarters. So two. What? Eight quarters? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Mine are listed as, as you're holding my ration. That's just how much of like a unit they are. That's like the in, in far oh, of like yeah. weight. Oh, well, I've got eight then. Okay. Yeah, you're holding my rations, aren't you? Am I? I yeah, so. I gave you my rations to hold because they were too yeah, heavy. But now we've yeah, got I'll a donkey. You the... <laughs> Here you go. You can have your rations back. I'll give you. No, you hold them. You hold them. No, no, no. We'll go we'll put them on the donkey. Cook them. You had, you had four, I think. That seems. We'll just split it in half. Should we just split it? Okay. How, how many ration? Do you eat one ration? Yeah, yeah. One ration is enough to uh, see you through the day. Oh, whole day. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's whole day. Fair. I'll eat mine and I'll feed grub. So if someone the... else wants to feel chum. How's the how's the water situation going? Have you guys been reducing your water as well every day? Oh, oh water I, isn't I in this game. We don't have water. Yeah. Well, I, don't, I don't have. I don't know what you mean. I swear there but was we, water. Did I not? We um, had water cave. We have water in this pond. I think we're good for water. No, I think I think I just made up. Water. Is there water? Do you have to keep track water? <laughs> I think I made. I think I <laughs> made, made up. Water. It's it's a moist. Oh, you think you made it up? I think I just. Uh, I think I might have made that one up just right How now. How much eight glasses a day? Getting your blood pressure every day <laughs> in the morning. Has everyone gone to the bathroom before we head off? We're looking after yeah. your mental health. Okay. Yeah. I'm up. Um, okay, you know what? I'm going to make the executive decision. We're not going to track water. I think we'll. I'm going to call that now. Good. Twelve Good. Is sessions there a thing? in. No, that, but I'm just going to say we will definitely not track it oh. after bringing it into the game. Twelve episodes, and I think I, we're done with it. I think <laughs> my character died of uh, too much water. Panic! <laughs> <laughs> uh, the and started smashing it like he was on the big day out in 2001. <laughs> I'm um, I'm confusing it with Twilight 2000, which has has water. That's that's what I'm confusing okay are you well you're all fed you've all had a drink i guess i'm sure that's happened at some point um and the, uh, the rations uh grub has helped pack everything into the um into the cart uh chub is sitting on the back of the warg ready to go um and what's the plan what's for the what, who's the decision maker right now where are we going who's leading well, i was wondering if as soon as you heard so many horrible noises coming from the forest to the north, is there any way to avoid the forest? What do you think? What do you want to go through? No, I don't want to go through, but I'm looking at this map and um, Christoph kind of waddles over to whoever's holding the map at this point and starts tracing his finger from the pond north to the glittery tower and... There's some hills we could go over, but we'd be taking a hell of a detour. So it does seem like going through the forest might be our only option, doesn't it? Yeah, over to the east, I was thinking we're going around the forest, but uh, I suppose if we go go straight through the forest, will we be able to take the cart through? Yeah, you'd, you'd, you'd be able to get the donkey and cart through. Okay. All right, well, that's something. You can always uh, circumvent the the forest, but you'd be adding like 
possibly another three or four nights of travel. And that's if you can sort of get sight of the, the tower again to get your bearings. Mm. Well, I guess we have to do it. You don't, hey, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shoehorn you guys into going through the forest. Yeah. You could avoid the forest if you want, if you want to spend twelve <laughs> days with absolutely no guarantee you'll get there. And you can you'll do that die. <laughs> no, no. I, I think Digby is just like, well, if we can take the cart and potentially we can find some things in there to sell. Oh, oh grub, uh, those the... those rocks. We could leave a trail as we go. So if we get lost in the iron forest. We can head back to the pond and start again if we need to. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, oh, yep. And he just starts picking up all of the, the rocks and putting them into the back of the cart. Um, and once they're all in the back, he sort of sits up uh, with his legs dangling off the back of the cart, just um, holding on to the sort of the rocks at his side, ready to just drop one off at uh, regular intervals. Um, and he sort of gives, gives you the thumbs up to make sure that everything's good. You are eyeing up a promotion pretty quickly, Job. Thank you very much. <laughs> North it is then. Okay. Yes. To the oh. spire. Adventure. Okay, cool. Tourism. You've, you've got that kind of vague direction. In the in the daylight now, you can just see the through the fog, there are just the shapes of the mountain range behind. And from this distance, it doesn't really seem to um, show that shape of the spire that was glittering above the sort of tree line now. Um, and as the cart sort of bumps and jostles its way around the, the lake, um, the, the wall of this iron forest sort of gets closer. And it's incredibly thick uh, and dark but there does seem to be random paths that have been sort of cut through from either goblins or orcs or other adventurers uh, during their time and there does seem to be multiple paths leading through and splintering off into different parts of the woods um th it is it's it's uh, are there any signs no there's there's no there's no signage i've got a tactic for this I once heard something like, yeah. every time you go left, make sure you do a right to balance it out. And every time you go right, make sure you do a left to balance it out. So if you do, if the path, you know, takes some kind of three lefts, then we've got to kind of force our way back through three rights. So we're constantly heading north. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay. Um, did you guys want to, who's leading, who's leading the, the, the cart? Who's the, the head of this group? Grub. Drums on the back. Drums on the back of the car. I was well, thinking of, of like actually trying to be slightly more tactical, and I was thinking, seeing how I've got a bow and arrow, maybe I'll stay at the back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that's cool. Cover us, because it is. Mm -hmm. It's. I need to set it's the more scene. More likely to come from the front. This Trump. forest has set a pretty intimidating uh, persona from the sounds you heard last night, and now that you're slowly venturing into it it's clear that not much light sort of punches through the, 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 um, the foliage. Um, big canopy. Big canopy, big thick uh, trunked trees everywhere. Some of the trees that have like fallen down decades ago that have just rotten it and, and left big mounds of um, trunks and, and stuff. And you feel... What a mess. It's, it's, yeah, it's in a terrible state. There's no sign of that pervy tree from here, but you know he's watching. Oh. Um, okay. <laughs> always, always watching, any. <laughs> Hopefully, he's just watching the other trees. There's yeah, still you hear him breathing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It's> asthmatic. <laughs> it's an asthmatic. But every now and then, you just hear. <laughs> <laughs> just well. sucking on a squirrel. The innards out of his grip. Yeah, <laughs> 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 oh, God, it, it gets worse. You see all these empty squirrel skins lying around the hill. It sucks the insides out, yeah. Clean out. Well, well, you know, I think we should get out of here before uh, nightfall. Uh, what considering time? the voices, the, the sounds that you heard last night, I don't want to be stuck in here overnight. Yeah, I'll, I'll, to leave. I'll leave, guys. I'll I'll keep my knife out. I'll maybe scratch a little bit of bark as we walk past, uh -huh. and if we hear anything growling, I'll chop it up. 
How does um, that sound? Wilgus, can you give me a yeah. bushcraft, but with a bane, thanks to Christoph's amazing sort of thought of for every left, take a right, every right, take with a left, bane. It no, makes sorry, with right. a bane. Sorry, with a bane. Sorry, with a bane. Sorry, with a bane. 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 Christoph's great <laughs> idea. It's, not, it's not something that someone has heard once about going into a forest. <laughs> once. Sorry, it was with a, it was with a boon, with a boon, not a bane. So you rolled an eight and a seventeen. We'll take the eight. That is a it's a success. So um, you can you can make sure that whatever direction that Wilgus is aiming for, um, he'll be he'll end up heading in that direction through all the twists and turns. So it's a good bushcraft roll. Um, a few hours pass of traversing through. And again, there are moments where um, you all need to help get the cart over some of the things that are uh, blocking the way, whether it's, uh, like I said, branches that need to be moved or big thickets that need to be sort of cut back so you can progress. Um, the Maybe not a thicket. That's not right. That's not the right word. There's not yeah, just a, a nice thicket. garden thicket. Big juicy thicket. <laughs> yeah. um, and... Uh, there's, for the last maybe hour, Wilgus, I think you've been feeling the eyes of the forest uh, on on the group. Um, it feels like something's been stalking you, but uh, from from somewhere in like the depths of this uh, this forest. But it's the sounds of the birds and the insects um, that that help give you some sense of safety as as you as you continue on your way. How uh, are our animals? like reacting to being in the forest? Um, the warg is as, as aggressive as ever. It's very staunch. It is just like uh, confident in its movement through through this uh, um, forest. It's almost almost at home in a forest like this. Um, to it, the, testosterone. Yeah. <laughs> the, the donkey... Um, Tough food. The donkey's okay. It needs. It, there have been certain points along the last few hours where it needs a bit of encouragement, um, but there's that sort of realization, probably to its to its donkey brain, that it's uh, it's probably just as far out in any direction. Um, maybe there's a moment or two where it stubbornly stops, and it needs a bit of encouragement to, you know, by pulling on its reins to sort of like for its lead to to move it off the spot. Um, and Grub's been on the back of the cart regularly dropping off these rocks he's he's doing it probably way like not enough like if he'd done it uh quicker those rocks would have worn out run out way too quickly but he's also sp like spaced them out so far that you're never going to see like one rock from the next rock as well so he's still got a proud like stack of maybe six or seven rocks next to him you're, you're building the first highway north grub he's, ve he's very he's very very excited by that. Um, okay. I was thinking, team, we just we just push on. Like um, like you mentioned, we don't want to be here at night time if we can avoid it. So let's just keep on north. And what do you guys think? Hey, keep on north. Yeah, sounds good. So, the first shift of travel is up um, uh, another hour or so later, uh, and it's still it's. Um, it's, it's unsettling that that sort of that feeling of being watched is is starting to really get on uh, Wilgus's mind, and I think the rest of you have sort of started to feel just the uh, almost like the forest is is closing in on you, and that the sounds of the 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 birds and the insects just comes to a, just a sudden stop. Oh, well. and that feeling, and the you as a group. Or we'll just come to a stop. Well, it's just I, uh, Mallory possibly like turns her back on the cart and puts a little arrow in her in her bow. Nice. What's uh What's Digby up to here? I was just smelling the air. Is it does it smell like there's anything that's changed? It was, uh, the, the sound is gone does it sound like uh, does it smell like a creature is approaching what i'll do i'll get everyone to roll an awareness roll i'll give everyone uh awareness <laughs> with a bane but um and that's this time with a bane not a not a boon um except for digby who just has an awareness roll as is hmm. 
I succeeded. I got a six and he needed a 15. Lucas got a 15 and needed a 15. I can't remember which oh. way around that is. Mallory needed a 13 and got a 10. I got a 20, unfortunately. Okay. okay. Uh... All right, so what we're going to do, um, there's like, as uh, what breaks that silence is, is just this uh, horrifying roar as this uh, enormous um, monstrosity bounds uh, from, the tr from some branches above you and leaping down on you. This creature um, uh, looks like a mixture between an orc and a and a mountain lion. This thing um, has claws like eight inches long, big snarling teeth, and the golden yellow eyes. Uh, this mane of twisted, mangled hair uh, around its face, and these pointed ears. And it lands on all fours um, next to next to. Uh, we're going to say because of the awareness roll of twenty, he lands. Right next to Kristoff. Um, uh. I'm going to put you guys all on a new page, a new map. This is, we're going to do probably more of a um, theater of the mind for this. <clears throat> uh, can I put you on it? No, that's not the right one. This is the right one. Uh, this is just so we can put our uh, initiative. <laughs> Sorry, chuck on to dark mode if you have it. Uh, um, We're in the matrix. We're going to need guns. Mm. Uh, <laughs> thankfully, this creature didn't hit you all by surprise, so it doesn't. Uh, so it, it doesn't attack you with a, a surprise round. Um, Oh, we're going to grab initiative cards. Uh, feel free to drag a card in front of your uh, token there. Do you guys all see your tokens on there? Yes, yes thank you. Uh, we both got a six. Again? You guys must... Oh, okay. This is... Oh, are we pulling it at the same time? I think... Let's I think, do twos. Let's, let's, uh, let's remove and let's recall everything because I think we need to do it one at a time because... <laughs> Everyone's pulling at the same time. Um, we'll do it in the order that we have the tokens. That Did, didn't even. That should have. What's going on? What Done at the happening? same millisecond. Race uh, condition. Am I right? <laughs> tell me about it. All right. Uh, I've shuffled the cards. Uh, we'll go left. We'll go left to right. So we'll start with Digby. If you can give us your uh, initiative. Okay, place. I got a three. Cool. We'll guess. Seven. Nice, Mallory. Do, 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 do. Six. Perfect. Uh, Christoph. One. Hey. Oh. Uh, the goblins <laughs> get a nine. They'll move on nine, and uh, the creature gets an eight and a two um and he is going to take because of that roll of the 20 he's just gonna just do this he's gonna take that swap card what? Uh, he's just gonna swap, what? he's just gonna swap he stole your up. card God, i hate this game <laughs> <laughs> um this creature does mark mark get a card what's that sorry does marky mark get a card the donkey no, wait, no. oh, that's that'll be on roll nine as well. So the the goblins, mm. the the warg will need. Uh, I might not need a roll Jump. actually. Let's let's get just the warg on there as well then, uh, just so I can bring him up as right needed. Is on the warg. Uh, warg. Okay, cool. Um, we're gonna start with this creature. Um, Grub just freaks out and screams. Uh, Manticore! It's a manticore! Oh my god! Oh that, dear. That was a that manticore. was manticore for those that don't speak gobbo. Um, the manticore growls. Uh, and let's see what its attack is. Um, with standing, <laughs> just to show, just to, just to show how dangerous this creature is. This creature uh, lunges out towards Kristoff with its razor sharp teeth. Um, and bites down, doing 
17 points of slashing damage. Hot damn. I'll miss you, Krista. Um, what's, uh, what's, what's your armor rating? Two. Okay, so it does 15. 15? Are you, okay, well, the good news is, is you are, you haven't had your turn yet? Dead. <laughs> no, Jesus, you're dead. No, so you can, uh, you can dodge. You can try to dodge and evade it if you want to, but, but that yep. uses your turn. Yeah, obviously I'm going to try and uh, do this. Yeah. All right. All you need to do is roll evade and succeed no on that roll. No problem. No problem at all. Oh, and it, it wasn't. wasn't a problem. <laughs> okay. Do you want to describe? What happened? Christoph sees it coming, screams, and kind of like just tries to roll away like you would if you were like caught on fire. So he just hits the hits the deck and is covered in mud and leaves of the forest floor as this thing kind of pounces where Christoph was not a second ago. Um, and it follows, <laughs> it follows up with a second move again with its razor sharp teeth. This time doing fourteen minus your two. 12 points of slashing damage. Me again? Well, yeah, you're right there. I thought you'd be so confused by my incredible evade that... Uh, no, okay. Well, that's all my hit points gone, so... <laughs> Have fun. Have okay. fun, everyone. Good luck out there. Uh, Digby, you Hang up. on, isn't there some rule if you lose all your hit points in one go, you die? No, 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 no. no. Saving yeah. rules? If you no 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 that's only if you um, <laughs> take as much damage as you have into the negatives in one go. So if you took twenty four points, then oh. that would have been that would have been you. Do you only have twelve hit points? Total? Well, I have none now. But uh, <laughs> okay. yes, my my total is twelve. Digby, over to you. Mm. Is there any way to run? Does it look like we could run away from the Manticore? This thing looks powerfully fast, and the fact that it came through the forest at you guys as well makes it seem like this uh, is kind of its home. You're in the middle of the iron forest here. Yeah, I thought so. It's domain. Um, okay, well, I, there's only one thing I can do. I'm going to be far away from it, and I'm going to be in panic because I've just seen... Christoph being struck down by its claws. I'm going to pull out my sling and swing it. I need a 13, and I got a 12. Uh, uh, perfect. Yeah. Uh, what's the damage on that? Yeah, it didn't come up with damage. I thought it would. What do you? Sling. There's a D6, isn't it? Yeah, so it's oh, no, a D8. I should have done that. Oh, wait, did you actually click your um, weapon or did you just click the No, skill? I clicked sling. I forgot about that. Yeah. You can click your weapon, can you? All right. That's, the, that's yeah, that adds all your bonuses and stuff as uh, well. A D8. So three damage. Do you get a plus or anything or no? No, I don't. Um, I don't think Digby has any bonuses. He doesn't have any strength or agility bonuses. So no, that'll just be that. Okay. How much was that, sorry? Three. Okay. Was it enough to kill it? He's dead. Mm. He just dies with <laughs> a single rock to the face. What? Is he strangely weak? For is he surprised? A... Is he surprised by a that small hit... rock hitting him, yeah. doing little bit, tiny bit of damage? He's angered. Yeah. I'd say he's angered. I'll say he's quite angry by it. He's um quickly swapped his like view <laughs> from from Christoph. Sorry, I said anything from Christoph it... to you. Um. When you were so, where were you based on this uh, in this group at the moment? Were you in the um, were you in the cart? Uh, yeah, yep. I would have been in the cart when it started, having a bit of a nap. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, but I am trying to stay out of sight of it. After almost dying last time, I'm a bit gun shy or creature shy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool. Who's up next? We have Mallory. Uh, am I able to like take cover, like behind a tree or something, and start firing on the manticore? 
Yeah, you've been at the back, right? So uh, a, yeah. a tree isn't too far away. You'd absolutely be able to dive in behind a tree and sight up uh, the manticore for sure. Nice. Uh, right. Putting a little bit of distance on you now. He's he's on the other side of the cart from you. Right, okay. Come on, Longbow. Be my friend. Oh, yes. Meat speeds. Seven. Beats. Oh. But the damage. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> low, low damage. Three points of damage. Um, he's now had like a rock smack into his face and, a, and an arrow that just like glances him and taken off a little bit of fur and skin and he doesn't really he's, kind of, he's looking around, he's looking at Digby in the back of the cart, he's looking at Mallory sort of behind these trees um, Wilgus uh, Wilgus sees Christoph drop to the, the forest floor Ooh. Christoph, enlightenment, Gobbo's attack! And he's just going to charge into the manticore and drive his knife into its face. Okay, great. So you, uh, whereabouts were you sort of stationed in in regards to uh, the cart? I'm Would just trying to mentally up. picture it. You're at the front, right? Correcto. All right, so yeah, you you turn to see like uh, Christoph dodge and then get taken out by this bite, this rock and this arrow fire, and you raise your dagger and run in. And it rolls a 12, needs a 16 or vice versa. How does this game work? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Needed a 16, rolled a 12, uh, and eight points of damage. Nice. That's, that's that is fantastic. Um, whereabouts are you sort of like bringing this knife down? I'm into its facial structure through a few layers of skin yep. and wrench it back out, spraying yeah. a, a bunch of blood all over the place. Yeah, perfect. You're now face to face with this manticore and you can smell uh, like a warmth on its breath of like dead um, animal, like fresh kills and stuff. And a little bit of Kristoff, I think you will pick up. The little hmm. notes, notes little of Kristoff. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of enlightenment too, I might add. <laughs> yeah. Kristoff, uh, um, you are down on the ground uh, in a dying state. Uh, what you can do is you can rally yourself if you want to before you do a, a death saving roll, um, and all that needs from you is a roll against your will uh, willpower with a bane, and this is trying to you're you're uh, talking yourself, hyping yourself up to try and get back to your feet to fight on, or you can just just do your roll and and lay on the ground bleeding out. <laughs> so I'm just giving you options. <laughs> I'm not trying to <laughs> look. I'm not trying to push you in any specific direction. Good, good I'm giving you, you can have to sell. I don't or die. <laughs> so you choose. It's all, all up to you. But hang on a minute. Can I just do my death saving rolls and and not rally? Yeah, you can totally you can just still l- evade death if yeah. I succeed on my death saving rolls. If, yeah, yeah. But like, if you rally, you still do your death saving rolls. So you you get up and you fight. Uh, or you try to um, rally yourself and then continue doing your death-saving throws while you fight. Or you can just so lay what, on the ground would, and not do them. What would the advantage of not... Why would anyone ever not rally? Uh, I don't know. I don't, they may be uh, depressed. They might be... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So like I said, just, I'll just do my death-saving rolls. Um, right. Hate okay. the game. <laughs> We've got a new character they're trying to get going. Yeah, they have a super sick secondary character. (laughs) (laughs) I will uh, roll my willpower then. Okay. Let's see. Nope. Nope. It's like you're trying to will yourself to get up and fight, Uh, and you just can't. can't. That's (laughs) no good. Give us a give us a death saving throw. Death roll. All right. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, you needed, needed 12 rolled or nine. Yay. It's one success. We're uh, rolling with a boon. What's, oh, what? Huh? I don't know. I just saw two dice. <laughs> no, it's just nothing. It looked good. Don't say anything. <laughs> no, I just saw the nine, so that's all good. Yeah. Um, I actually still had the bane on. So Yeah, because it says keep highest one. Yeah. That, is that because you've... Oh, so you a... would have succeeded. If, oh, well, he maybe. did succeed. I did no, succeed. with the willpower. He did roll a 14 for one of them, but I don't ah. know. Oh, no, no, that one had to be with a Bane. Oh, okay, yeah. sorry. Yeah, because he's bleeding out. That's, uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> a bit of a almost, disadvantage. The being almost <laughs> dead. Grub on the back of the um, cart, le- like unsheathes his short sword and just le- seeing Wilgus run in, wants to um, do the same and sort of leaps up off the edge of the cart, uh, lands down next to this manticore and like, like this, looks up at him. Uh, and just pulls out a short sword and just tries to stick it in the side of the of the manticore. So let's do another see. critical hit, Grub. Let's see how this yeah. goes. Uh, he needed twelve. He rolled a fourteen. That is a miss. He just like um, as he le- leaps off the cart and he goes to swing, it just like scrapes across the dirt and uh, misses. Doesn't do any sort of ends up just resting it against the manticore. Didn't do a great job there. Um, the uh, chub, I think the chub, the chub stew. He's gonna jump on the um, on the warg, uh, and <laughs> he's gonna take the warg into battle basically. Uh, and the warg is just snarling uh, viciously. So what do we got for the warg rider stats? Um, we're gonna do one of the walk rider roles for you guys. This is uh, gonna be nice because the first game we were like on the receiving end of the walk rider. Now, mm. now they're on our team. I was like, yeah, it is. I'm still Did since you I'm call using it a walk crime. Since I am just using wow. <laughs> <laughs> since I'm just using the walk rider um, uh, stat block for this, I'm just gonna roll the attack like I would if it was a normal walk instead of choosing the attack. Um, if by any point it gets to a point where Mallory can like dictate what she wants it to do, then maybe we can do that. But Mallory is behind a tree shooting arrows. Uh, Chubbs jumped onto the warg, and with a um, a rallying cry, Chubb screams out uh, just like a rallying call to all of you. Um, and it's it's oddly empowering. Uh, all attacks from you guys until the war riders next turn is going to be added uh, with a bane a boon sorry a boon nice. i keep getting that one fucked up a boon <laughs> i was going to say with advantage don't say advantage say bane bane boon it's a boon uh so mm. everyone everyone gets advantage That's for good. the for the next turn uh let's recall and boom, let's baby. roll let's roll some new uh, initiative Ooh, uh digby no. digby roll yes. initiative please Oh, initiative. Uh, I pull out one of the cards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I roll it. Okay. Um, five. Cool. Uh, Wilgus. Wilgus got a four. Mallory. Mallory has a team. Christoph. Christoph? He's looking. <laughs> Thinking about it. Adam, are you uh, you doing alright? Yeah, I'm getting a I'm getting an error. <laughs> Ran oh. out of cards in the deck before drawing cards. Oh no. Um Oh these are all numbers. Oh wait, try try now. I just had to reshuffle the the ones I got put back in. So uh, bad. Cool. The goblins an eight, and oh and one and six for the manticore. So we're going to start again. The Cheater. manticore um, now. Did he get the one again? Well, he stole it last time, but um, dirty, he should dirty steal mint. your ten. <laughs> He's going to roll to see the attack. Uh, the manticore. By the way, I haven't mentioned the manticore now whips its tail up from behind it, and you can just see this this line of spikes sort of up from its back all the way up its tail and around the back of its tail, and it whips its tail. And I'm going to say, and it's all adventurers within ten meters suffer ten piercing damage. I'm oh, sorry, D10. We'll roll. We'll roll a D10. It is eight piercing damage minus your armor. Including characters who are standing behind a tree and hiding. I will let you hit. I'll let you select evade. I'll let you give me an evade to see if you can. How well that tree (laughs) is is blocking you. And the boon's still there, right? Uh, only for attacks. Ah, nuts. Okay, I'll get rid of that 
temporarily. No, oh, boom. Come on, Evade. Be my friend. Yes! Needed a 14, got a 3. You see it coming, <laughs> and you're mostly behind the tree, and he went, th -th -th -th. these, like, spikes slam into the tree right next to another one, whizzes past. But Wilgus... Uh, I ducked. Wilgus, uh, Digby, and the goblins. Oh, my gosh. Goblins, how much health do you guys have? This is going to be... This is going to be scary. Sobos? So. Oh. Yeah, both Grub and Chum. They're not dead. They 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 both get like slammed by these spikes though. Um and take and the and are damn near dead on their feet as those things slam into them. Um the wog is a lot hardier and manages to withstand it quite well. But like Grub's almost crying, I think. He's like he's like hit by one of these spikes and it's like impaled into him. And he's just like instantly starts uh weeping. Um oh, no. the other the other thing with this with these um spikes is Digby, you look down to look at the spike that sort of grazed into you and it's covered yeah. in this purple uh um liquid of purple drink. Um so there's like a paralyzing potion uh <gasps> a poison sorry that is that is dripping from from here um, oh so i just need to get some rules on this it's got a certain potency level that i need to roll against um and i believe you guys also need to roll um let me have a look here the gm makes an open opposed roll between the potency and your uh con constitution oh all right, so you. So we'll start with you, Digby. Can you roll a Constitution? I just click Con. Yeah, yeah, and I roll a D twelve. Oh, I got a twenty. No wait, I don't roll a D twelve. I roll a D twenty, and I have to try and get. Don't know um, how you're gonna beat a twenty. Well, okay, uh, I did beat it, so you are now. Oh. <laughs> I got a seventeen. Um, Okay, uh, Wilgus, I'll get the same from you as well, please. Can you Just roll? Just to clarify your... on the damage before we go to poison. Oh yeah, there's eight damage. I've got a total of four armor, so I suffer four damage. Correct. Cool. Uh, now I click on Con to save against the poison. I've got a fourteen. So you succeeded. Yep, under the fifteen or something. Right. What did you have to? Oh yeah, sweet. Um... Oh yeah, can I do a like a push a roll? Did you get the option? Why didn't you get the option to push? Uh, I don't oh, know. because you got a twenty. You can't push on a on a twenty. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, Digby, you're okay. The um the 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 the, po the poison itself. Wilgus is okay. Oh, sorry, Wilgus is okay. Uh, you managed to uh, push through just the any effects from that, but the paralyzing potion i'm just going to roll another couple i oh, might as well use the first roll the potion is uh, i probably shouldn't have rolled twice rolled a 17 um the goblins i think they their constitution is incredibly low i think it's a five so i'm just going to roll theirs together they did not succeed those they too drop down to the ground in a paralyzed state <laughs> Um, uh, am I paralyzed? Is that so what happened? What happens with a paralyzing potion uh, poison is you become exhausted uh, and you must make a con roll each turn, not as an action, just as a, as a roll. And if it fails, you can neither move nor perform actions that round. Um, so either until a stretch passes or you're given an antidote, anytime you want to move, you've got to try and push through your, through your constitution oh, to move. So I click exhausted, do I? Yes, yeah, correct long COVID that's what I got tell me about it Wilgus over to you mm. uh, Wilgus is a bit shocked at how much damage the old manticore has has lashed out at everyone and that, that fuels his hunger for enlightenment and he changes the grip on his knife slightly and stabs it into the manticore's um, 
rippling muscles on his right forearm. Before you, before you roll, uh, because uh, you still had some poison in you, you got a limited effect by it. So you're still exhausted. You just don't have to roll con beforehand. So do tag your exhausted uh, marker before rolling. Okay. And I'll cash in the, the glorious battle cry from Marky Mark. Yes. Yeah, cool. Yep. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. Uh, well, let's go. Oh, I uh, needed a 16, got a 3, and 6 damage. Okay, perfect. Beautiful. Um, we'll move over to Digby. Yeah. Give me a con roll. Let's just see if you can actually take any actions this round. Here we go. Oh, I needed a 9, and I got a 5 somehow. Yeah, you managed to push through. like All of your muscles just are so aching and tired, but you manage... To, to push through what does what does digby do you've seen now that like yeah. the, the stabbing to the face and the and it's shank by Wilgus has done a fair amount of damage to this thing i'm just i'm gonna push it this is just because i'm 45 <laughs> i'm gonna rise to my feet and i'm gonna look over at poor christoph who's been downed and is bleeding I say christoph and i'm gonna pull out my knife and jump from the cart to attempt to stab this thing in its, stab in Christoph. its face. <laughs> Just put him yeah. out of his misery. <laughs> Christoph. We can hurry this along. <laughs> I was here you. The, um, no, the manticore. Yes. Okay. Give and us a... Do I get... Uh, when, we, when we're doing our con roll, mm. does, does that uh, get affected by the warg rider bonus? So... The, the con roll? No, no. So just the knife. Just the attacks, well, yeah. So do I put a, ba a boon on this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Chuck a boon, Chuck a boon on, on it. A boon on it. <laughs> All right. I need a... Uh, you rolled... Oh, yeah, no, that's right. I need a 13 and I got a 10. Okay, great. I did five damage. S describe your, your attack for me, please. I'm jumping from the cart and like a dog, I'm growling like a dog that's protecting one of its friends and and barking and striking down. Nice. With the amount of noise and the pain of this extra attack into its face. It's already had like so many attacks from Wilgus. It's had these attempted attacks from other, even had like a, a stone hit it and an arrow graze it. With this amount of damage, it's um it starts snarling and, and like backing off a little bit into, into the woods. Um, just sort of like backing off and snarling and barking and whipping its tail around um, before like uh, disappearing quickly whoosh, into the into the tree line. Don't come back. Anyone who is right next to it, you guys are welcome to do a quick attack uh, on Ooh. it if you, if yes, you want please. to. Yes, please. Will just love It's only the people that are w within that uh, melee range. Oh, I hit with a four. And seven oh. damage. Wilgus does I can't shoot an damage. arrow after it. It's, it's kind of like it's kind of like nice. D D rules. It's that um, it's the fact that it's breaking that um, just that close distance. Um, oh, disengaged. I mean, you're welcome. You're welcome to just throw one behind it and see if it hits. Give us a roll anyway. Did Did you see the eleven that Wilgus just slapped on its butt? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm adding all this up. Okay. Okay, okay, come on. That was my best hit yet. Oh, well, you know what? Oh, no. Woo! I need a 17. I got a 2 with 9 no, damage. You guys finally do just, like, insane amounts of damage. Yeah. So, okay, what happens? You notice this manticore, like, backing off um, and with all of the damage that it's uh, taken. And out of nowhere, uh, you, you notice it just go to leap. Wilgus, you attack out with your dagger. Where are you aiming for? I was going to try and sever the, the muscle in its front hindquarters. Like, yeah. It's front hindquarters. Okay. Yeah. Front hindquarters. It is. You managed to no fix that. <laughs> you, you, do, you do that and it just, yeah, it's the first time you hear like a yelp of pain from it. You do 11 damage. You can see that slice and just the, the tendon like snap. Uh, Digby, you do something it's similar. Banjo string. <laughs> Is he leaps over? Is that what, what you were describing? <laughs> his front hindquarter was actually his banjo string all along. 
Um, where are you aiming your knife other than if maybe he's jumping also over me? Genitals? I think I would have just stuck my knife up into the air and like hoped that it slid across right <laughs> its guts. Oh. Like, <laughs> it was hidden, it was hidden away, but shoot you, yeah, oh. it, it uh leaps over. I, you I would have landed on the other side, oh, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it leaps over you and you stick your knife up just out instinctively, just a, and uh, and then it lands from its leap and it doesn't land very well it's it is like bleeding profusely after like 18 points of damage uh on the 24 that it had remaining and as it's like limping its way off into the into the darkness of the iron forest mallory sights up one last arrow and uh let's loose where are you aiming is it its butthole i feel like this is the <laughs> We're not starting a train. Okay, all right. It's just, it's just, yeah. it's just a chase, chasing arrow. So if if it gets it, like uh, I don't know, in in the flank, in the back, Perennial. maybe cuts off that, uh, cuts off that manticore tail. Oh, you like oh. the tail? I hundred percent mean the tail, not anything else. Okay. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. How about it, like splits the tail? Like it's a perfect shot that just splits the tail. Um, oh, he wouldn't be happy about that. What's least... behind the manticore's tail? <laughs> it's uh, its head. I'm going to say its head is. Well, is a manticore's tail worth a lot of money? Not when it's split down the middle. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, he's got two then. This attack is uh, this this all out attack as it goes to disengage is enough to put it uh, out of its life. It's dead. It put it out of its life. <laughs> I'm very tired. We're going to take a five minute break. Manticore is dead. <laughs> so good. Oh, you're a master of the English language. <laughs> May I'm I, to witness. May, I am it's so, dead. so exhausted. So, yeah, we're lucky. Put it out of its life. <laughs> good enough to be in an HP Lovecraft letter. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I think you're associating life with misery. And I, think I was. Deep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, awesome you guys i didn't think you'd kill it i thought it was just gonna just run yeah. off um, i thought we were just gonna die <laughs> yeah it isn't nearly that, killed all of us isn't that like the whole thing with dragon bane i feel like every enemy is uh the worst absolutely yeah. the worst Definitely. every I'll, fight's I'll a boss oh fight so how yeah yes and this is the first time i think in getting dicey history where we just didn't use any sort of battle map just theater of the mind placing tokens nowhere just uh enjoying painting that picture which was quite fun it was quite fun quite enjoyed that um all right is the mentor holding a pickaxe uh i think it's just got like spikes and shit all over the place i'm just looking are you talking about the token i think it's the the tail Uh, oh sorry that makes that makes more sense yeah um, let me have a look. I've got, I've got the bestiary right here. There we go. Um, I've by seen the, way, the little. The um, uh, that, that the noise is back. Oh, sorry, Mallory. I'm sorry to say. Oh, God damn it! I didn't even do anything. <laughs> I did. I didn't paint a good enough picture of this thing, to be honest. It's got wings. Oh shit! So our one did not have wings. That's good. That's what they normally have. Yeah. I'll say ours was one of the ones that didn't. It's an iron woods manticore. No wings, because there's too much canopy. It's an environmental hazard for exactly. wings. Exactly. The, the bushland manticores, no, it just doesn't make sense for them to have wings. Their wingspan is too large for the dense iron forest. Um, Did you move your microphone, Rogan? Oh, why? Is it okay? Oh, it's better now. Ah, oh, I was just moving around all over the place, so that's all. Oh, yeah. Um, Christian reminded me that we actually did Theatre of the Mind for T2K as well, actually. That's a good point. Um, it was a different theatre. It was like similar to rather than similar one. Sorry, my brain is so tired. <laughs> Are you right, man? <laughs> uh, dude, I'm really not. I, I think I've... Um, I got the, like... I got the COVID vaccine a couple of weeks ago and I was like, yeah, this is going to help my long COVID. And it did exactly the opposite. It's made it like infinitely worse. I have um, the exhausted 
status. I'm like exhausted all day, every day at the moment. Mm. Rough, man. Yeah, it sucks. On the good news, though, Jo got the vaccine and her long COVID seems to be clearing up. So that's fantastic. It's a bit of a dice roll. <clears throat> Very on brand for our channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Christian said Manticore was some kind of brutal. Yeah, that was that was a good fight. It was a very good fight. Um, I did not. <laughs> I always forget how um, absolutely monstrous these creatures are in this game, and just seeing it like come out of the forest dealing like eight, 18 slashing damage right off the bat. Yeah, I saw that, and I'm like, mm. and then straight away looked at my my hit points, and I'm like. I am not going to survive this fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it. I think that was like its biggest attack. I think and just came out attacking, which is pretty, pretty decent. If it got a surprise round in, that would be like TPK before we roll anything. Well, to be honest, the cards that it pulled. So a surprise round in Dragon Bane just means it gets the first uh, card or cards, um, oh, yeah. and and the fact that uh, Adam rolled a 20 on his what was that on awareness. his awareness and then to get the number one for initiative i was just like nah we're gonna steal that we're gonna that's part of that yeah that's part of that 20 unfortunately um he would have yeah if, if all of you failed that awareness it would have he would have got the one and two um cards but he ended up with them anyway so i don't think it would have been much different it uh, couldn't have been any worse i guess <laughs> yeah the um Paralyzing poison was a nice touch for it as well. Yeah. Let me just get all those cards back. Shuffle. Is it? Oh, I think you actually have to be on the same. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on? Helps if you do the right cards. Um. Oh, hey, everyone. Oh, so last game I uh, overcame my weakness. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this time I don't have a weakness, but after the game I pick a new figure one. out, I pick a new one that goes with what we covered in the game, and then it starts the next game. I believe so. Let's just take another Sweet. little look. Uh, weakness. Uh, your character is capable of blah, blah, blah. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I think it's on the experience page, isn't it? For some, Here we go, experience. Uh, if you, during the session, acted in a way that clearly goes against your weakness, you get two advancements marks, blah, blah, blah. You've also now overcome your weakness and must remove it. Uh, you must then play a full session without a weakness. And mm -hmm. after that, you may choose a new weakness, preferably based on something that has occurred in the game. Um, and I think... There's like a list of weaknesses. Uh, gullible, greedy, thin-skinned, foolhardy, faint-hearted, uh, monster slayer, intolerant, slothful, gluttonous, kleptomaniac, vain, reckless, fearful of magic, craving knowledge, child of the wild, boastful, violent, overbearing, pessimist, or haughty. Oh That's just goodness. the first... That's just why that's if you roll the one on the D twenty, you get <laughs> What was the last negative thing? It sounded like you just said forty. 40. You're you're forty. Oh <laughs> uh, that, that should be on the list. Yeah, yeah. Haughty <laughs> with an H. Haughty. Haughty. Oh yes. Yeah. As in you look down on everyone. Thank you, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> like, just in, I don't know what you were doing now. <laughs> just in case, just in case you still thought I was saying fool. <laughs> <you doing? laughs> you, All right, let's let's uh, let's get back in. The forest uh, sounds. I can't believe you guys killed a manticore without me. <laughs> I was expecting this thing to have like. When you said, oh, by the way, one thing I haven't mentioned yet, it's invulnerable. <laughs> I don't know why I thought, but I genuinely thought it can't be killed by conventional measures. 
Yeah, I thought we're dead for sure. Are you guys always yeah. think that though? Every every fight. Well, look well, at it. The first it just fight was like hit. a bunch of goblins, and we were like laid out on the floor. So you see a manticore, <laughs> and you're like, "Well, off to make my new character." <laughs> see, the, yeah. one, the last big fight, the goblins helped a lot with their damage with arrows. This time, the goblins did nothing really, other than boosting your attack uh, chances. We should get rid of them. <laughs> they're already injured right they the are just there they are injured on the ground they're like they're not in the same sort of state that um poor christoff is in by the way i'm gonna need oh. i'm gonna need another death saving throw until someone uh tries to assist you that's probably not gonna happen anytime soon <laughs> all right that's another that's another success baby nice um is anyone how's everyone yeah healing? i'll try my healing have you got any bandages? Yeah. Can, oh, can you I... need bandages? No, no. If you um, if you, you if you use bandages, you roll a normal healing roll. If you don't have bandages, then you get a bane to the roll. Oh. Does someone have it in their bag? Because was uh, it we'll... one of the things that we bought, or we only bought? Wilgus totally patients. has bandages. Nice. Um, yes. But as um, Mallory's arrow you know, zooms through the forest and impales this creature, he's just going to charge after it. And just start stabbing the crikey dickens out of the manticore, giving into his violent weakness to loose the enlightenment from the creature. Just no. mints it. That's great. Digby, you managed to roll a two. Um, are you well, that was a... not with a bane. That, oh, you rolled it with it a boon. The bane. Yes. So should I roll it with a bane? Uh, yes. If you're not using bandages, yes. Oh, could oh. I use your bandage? He's run off into the woods. Oh, Wilgus, he didn't <laughs> drop a bandage on the way. Okay. Was was the boon from me assisting? Uh, <laughs> multiple attempts are allowed. There's no, I don't believe there's uh, boons. Oh, I'll just roll you're it. only allowed multiple attempts. His healing, uh, isn't it? I have a 15 and I rolled a 20. Okay. And a five. And a what and a fire <laughs> right right unfortunately yeah. without bandages you're making a real mess of it mallory you're welcome to have a try okay okay God. oh my goodness you gotta help he's yeah. just like oh. bleeding because there's blood all nope. over the floor over the ground the oh, man if only there was some bandages um can i get another <laughs> death saving roll from you please christoph Hey, Stabby McStevenson, we need your help over here. I'm already again. dead. I've healed myself. Yeah, no, you, you've managed to roll three successful. Um, yes. You get to roll a d6 to get some HP back. Is that your fancy physician heal thyself? There's so many classy quotes. Oh, two. Yeah, you managed to, like, you're actually able to, like, speak um, and move now. Uh. Uh, don't worry, guys. I've got this. As I kind of re reach around for my warhammer, which is on the ground, still not quite sure what's happened. Um, we'll guess. We'll guess. Yeah, Get your bandages up here. And he's coming back, just covered in blood. Oh, guys, we've killed it. It's dead. I made lots of holes in it just to be sure. I might have taken out its heart, Whoa. but uh. Whoa. <laughs> maybe maybe some of its eyes as well and i broke some of its bones <laughs> wait are any of those things worth money people might pay good money for a manticore's uh maybe it's tongue eye. or maybe i'll go back his okay. tail um but... is his tail like a scorpion it's uh n not no not like a scorpion it's just like a, it was a very like spike covered tail and it's now shaken loose all of its spikes um i guess part of the next process for it would be to regrow those spikes but it, it won't like be it won't be anymore it's dead mm. it's gone oh um by the way wilgus digby uh the two uh goblins you're all feeling terrible Ab absolutely uh, terrible, exhausted even, thanks to the um, this poison uh, that you it's a t that's attached. It's in Spike your system. Spike proteins. Now. <laughs> yeah, is, yeah. Is there a chance I could like maybe use like 
bushcraft or something to maybe look for herbs in the forest that we can maybe smush into the wounds and nullify the poison? Is uh, that a thing? There, yeah, there, there are antidotes, um, but I don't think uh, they can be crafted. They are things that need to be purchased. They're not, they need artisanal kind of abilities okay. to, to create. So it's not like going into the forest, finding some plants and making like a little poultice. Uh, not that I'm aware of. I don't believe that is something. I can have a quick look here. Uh, let's have a look at poisons. Um, given an antidote, I don't see anything in regards to the creation of that. Hmm. Uh, not, not ruling it out. Obviously, there's like hunting. What would, what would you put that under? Medicine. What's medicine? Um, Just healing. Again. Yeah, healing potions. No, that Which looks like they're, they're incredibly rare. They're incredibly rare. They're very expensive. I, mm. I don't imagine this will be the thing that anyone could just go out and make, or they wouldn't be rare and expensive. So no, unfortunately not. Yeah, I've just had a look through foraging. There's that's not something. It's mainly just mm -hmm. for food. Ah, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, Chub, Grub, how how are you guys doing? Are you okay? Um, oh, yes, we've got a tent of the, the Grub. Goats. Grub is just like holding uh, his hand over this like uh, open wound where he's pulled the spike out, and he's just like got one hand on the cart as he just slowly makes his way over to the back of the cart, climbs into the back of the cart, and just rolls over onto his back. And you can just see his eyes are just welling up um, with tears. And Chubb is in a similar state. He's moving pretty slowly. He's, he got knocked off the back of the wall with the head of the um, spikes. Um, and he's just, he's quiet. And he's just getting the warg into sort of a... a position off to the side of where you are just to check him over while still bleeding himself so they're not in a good they're not in a great state those two goblins i'm going to uh crawl into the back of the cart <sighs> i don't feel well something's in my blood but dog a dog get us out of here yeah <laughs> And I'm going to go for a nap in the uh, back. Yeah, both Grub and, and Chum are both asleep. Well, trying. They're in pain. They're just resting, I should say. They're just going to be spending as much time as they can just to sort of heal um, heal themselves. Uh, if, they're ne if they're needed something. for something... What was that? Sorry? Can I try to do some healing on the, the goblets? With, in Dragonbane, the only way to get health back is with rests. Outside okay. of that initial getting health back um, yeah. from that healing. Should we have a stretch rest? Does that give us HP? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So stretch rest is just like a 15 minute. Mm. Let's have smoke. Oh, good. Let's do that. <laughs> Wouldn't right. mind um, sitting still. Okay. Yeah. I've just put my stretch rest on and I've got full HP. Uh, you get a. A stretch rest, D6 of HP, uh, or 2D6 HP if someone else is tending to you and succeeds with a healing roll. So that's where Mallory, oh. if, if you're wanting to help out some of the injured. Yeah. Obviously, um, Christoph is pretty injured. Uh, uh, Grub is sitting on like 1 HP. Um, nah. Chum, we'll is, help too. Chum is sitting there on 2 HP. Everyone is doing pretty rough. I think Christoph's on 2 HP. I'm on six now. Oh, so, okay, okay. Well, you're right then. So I mean, I meant to ask this. So when I completed my death rolls, I got four HP back automatically. It just gave me four HP. Oh, it must have rolled a D six. Uh, it must have automatically rolled that D D six for you. Oh, okay. I'll I'll s slip back down to four. Okay, cool. Cool. Well, I I've didn't got realize that. Okay. Cool. Um, um, yeah. Lucas says bandages will help out each of the ruined people okay uh who, who are you going to help first um 
Christoph, you look like shit, man. All all this blood is at yours. I feel like it too. That's authentic of you. I'll I'll use one of my bandages. This one doesn't have too much manticore blood on it. Oh, good. <laughs> Just give us a give us a healing roll, please. With the boon. Sure. Chuck a boon on it. Chuck the boon. On. Uh, uh, healing. There we go. It'll make it feel better. It's keeping the blood in. Nice. Give us uh, 2d6, uh, please, Christoph, and that's how much hit, hit points um, Wilgus manages to bring back to you in the next 15 minutes. Wow. Thanks, Wilgus. 6 HP. Nice. I love the surprise yeah. in your voice, Christoph, but I'm, I'm still a person. <laughs> Valerie, who are you tending to? <laughs> Thanks, Christoph. Well, we, we can't do anything about the, the poisons currently can we so no, no how how are digby how much trouble are you in is it just a poison thing oh or i'm you... i'm fine now oh great i just okay, cool. do we get uh any fixes to our exhaustion after a stretch rest or is this only a big rest no stretch rest um basically this 15 minute break is going to remove this uh toxin from your body you'll get to heal some oh, of your HP okay back. No, yeah. I'm fine. Don't worry but, about me. Yeah, but I can I can tend to the goblins. Yeah, yeah. Give us a give us a healing roll. Come on, healing roll. Where's my healing? Oh, there it is. Don't oh, no. <laughs> Close. That didn't work. Need an eleven. Got a twelve. Yeah. Oh, should, that's how right he can you? still get one he can still get one d6 that's okay well he, um which oh. which goblin were you tending to uh let's say the worst one. Oh, that was poor grown oh. oh he gets oh, no. he gets one he just get oh. he gives you the like sort of like a really weak little thumbs up um he's like uh, i'll be okay Valerie. oh you're such a little trooper i'm sorry i'm better at killing things the thumb was the part that got healed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but was, again, at like, least he, he's he's feeling terrible because he's also got that poison running through him at the moment. At the end of this 15 minutes, he's, he's still not going to be feeling great. Um, and Chum is going to... Is anyone going to help heal? Wilgus will heal Chum using so, his bandage. Good, give us a heal. And we'll click the helio. Chum, he's, you got a bit of problem there, but... If you take the spike out and you put the bandage in and you just there you go. Yeah, nice. He is back to full health thanks to thanks to your help. And so the the fifteen minutes um sort of around the cart is it's a real dark sort of quiet time as everyone tends to the different wounds and Digby you're just sort of laying back waiting for this this uh feeling of uh paralyzation to leave all of the muscles in your body. Um Willius, you've been tending to both Kristoff and Chum and Mallory. You've been sort of by Grub's side trying to help him. And as the poison leaves the goblin's body over the 15 minutes as well. Um, 15 minutes pass and the sound of the um, forest sort of becomes... Uh, you become aware to it again. Everything was kind of distant during this, this haze of this attack. Uh, you're kind of all aware and on edge again now, not knowing what could be out there. Um... Grub is just going to spend the rest of the time lying on his back. He doesn't care about the rocks at his side anymore. He's just curled up against one of the walls of the cart. And Chubb is back on top of uh, Marky Mark, ready to go. Um, what's what's everyone thinking? It is um, it is probably midday at this point. You can't not that you could tell from the the canopy above you. My tummy can tell. There you go. Um, as soon as people are not on the brink of death or bleeding out, he'll um, trot a little bit enthusiastically back to the manticore and chop out one of its eyeballs <laughs> and just back in it. take it with him. Just a quick 15-minute break and back to it. Do we need to search the manticore? It wouldn't have, like, I don't know... They don't have pockets that we need to look through, no, rifle through. No, it's, okay, cool. It's that's a, a good point. I'll open him up. We can check <laughs> out his intestines, see if he's eaten any don't, adventures lately. 
don't poke the intestines uh, because it might smell even worse. I'll leave the the lower hind intestine. Okay. <laughs> Do you think this uh, thing had a family that will come <laughs> looking for it? You find I no, I'm, I'm not to feel sad about it, but <laughs> but in a danger sense. Hmm. Let's get out of here. I like your thinking, Digby. It, it's not nice here. It smells. Mm. Imagine I, if its dad shows up. I don't know how the donkey didn't freak out and run before, but it's. Uh, I guess it just like froze solid, like one of those like goats used to that just like shit. freeze and fall over. It was like one of those. Um, it's a war donkey. It's, <laughs> yeah, and it's um you're hitting just continuing out of the iron forest. It's um maybe oh yeah sorry did I interrupt you, Channel? No, no. I, but if we have done two lefts, make sure to do two rights. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so Fail safe, there. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, I'm going to do that when I'm in the bush. <laughs> uh, Wilgus, are you leading the, the charge again? Um, Indeed. Are you, are you on high alert or what's... what's Wilgus has got his knife out and occasionally he's like chopping a little arrow into the into the tree to point straight up okay cool <laughs> there's um it's a, a couple of hours later you 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 managed to clear the, out the other side of the iron forest and into these misty valleys um and <laughs> up on the opposite side of this misty valley you now see clear as day because it is day uh, a, a a mountain th- that reaches high up into the uh, sky above you and at the very top you can see something that looks uh almost like a tower like but it looks like it's maybe covered in a uh, greenery like or foliage of some sort high above that mountain a, a, tower, a tower covered in greenery is it a tower you're not sure it just doesn't it looks more man-made at the top of, of that mountain in front of you um and it is in sort of the direction um of where you saw the glittering spire the the thing is you could see easily how someone might ignore it completely uh just thinking it was the top of a mountain but because you're looking out for it something just looks a little strange about it it's um uh it's probably coming up uh dusk it's starting to starting to get a little bit darker as you cross these valleys these mist laden valleys um and uh Grub sitting in the back is fast asleep now. He's just trying to heal himself. Um, and there's another stretch of forest which which starts to appear in front of you. And it's uh, it's a, not nearly as dark and, and dense as the one you just passed through. And you can see that um, there's a path now uh, at the at the front of this, at the end of this valley, at the front of this forest line, that seems to head straight towards this mountain. Um... um Wilgus, you're at the head of this party. What are you? What are you doing? What are you looking for? Finally, team, we've we've got to the silvery spire path. We can call it that later when we dominate the the area. Um, follow me. We're nearly there. Well, I'm inspired. Nice way. <laughs> Lead yes. the way. Um, you managed to get to that tree line just raining? as the yes, yeah, the sky is open up. Uh, and the rain falls down um, and you you begin this this path seems to head straight towards this mountain and the and the ground starts to get steeper and it looks like the next part of this journey is going to be uh, directly uh, up this mountain that's where this path is leading and as the as the last little bit of light uh, dissipates you can see um, through the canopy of trees above you at the top of this mountain, that shape of the spire atop that mountain slowly start to flicker and, and glitter. Um, and what looked like just a peak of foliage is now this glittering spire up ahead of you. <laughs> and I guess the rain just like instantly stopped. That was weird. You're right, Crystal. Coming out. You're right, Christoph. It's it's just there. You were right all along. We didn't doubt you as a group at all by consensus. Great. Uh, I didn't think you did, but now that you've said that, I'm wondering. It's, uh, it's quite the phenomenon, isn't it? The way it 
it looks like it's there one minute, not there the next. It's like it's some kind of dark magic going on. Wouldn't be surprised if it's magic, you know. I was thinking more tourist attraction for later. What do you think, Mallory? Is this commonplace with the tourism? Well, I think, you know, if we bring tourists along, they'd be very interested in seeing a sparkly tower. I mean, how many sparkly towers have you seen? Just this one for me. It looks great. Exactly. <laughs> Agreed. Might have to come up with a better name than Sparkly Tower, but for now we'll do. Mallory's Sparkly Tower. Ooh. I love it. <laughs> There's probably not much more of um, travel sort of uh, in you guys today unless you wanted to risk even further exhaustion. Um, Where are we located? Are we out of the woods? Um, you ventured sort of back the the you're in in the woods at the moment. It's it's a much nicer woods versus okay, the iron forest. Again. <laughs> the soundscape is just going crazy. The um uh yeah, you're kind of where that's pointed. The the uh the slope on the map doesn't really match the slope of what you're sort of experiencing at this point. It seems it's already, safer, does it? It's yeah, yeah. It definitely seems a lot safer. And the climb seems quite gradual in comparison to what you've seen on the um on the map there um what you can see through the canopy above you is that maybe this is going to be a quite a treacherous journey up this mountain eventually they might it might get uh quite quite hard but the fact that you've been on this path makes you think <clears throat> and that obviously there's a tower up there that maybe this path goes the whole way up mm. what do you think team should we push on see if we can rest our heads under a roof rather than uh, I, I would say uh, we set the tent up here under these trees. It's not as scary as it was in the deep forest there, and it may provide us some shelter. Does it look like we'll need any um, climbing equipment? Um, I don't... I, back I, to the shop. It, it looks like... Um, I think you've got quite a bit of confidence that there's this path here. Whoever stole this statuette took it to this tower. Uh, it, 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 there was a tower up there. There's clearly a path up. I think I think there's no real need for, for climbing gear. Okay. Yeah. Unless you want to do specifically scale parts of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm just giving you option A. Yes, option please. B. Sounds good to me. <laughs> we can go Just vertical with that car. I'll lift the donkey. You guys lift the cart. <laughs> Adventure tourism. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm Mallory keen Christoph. for sleep now. What about every, yeah, what about everyone else? Uh, well, we're not sure what will be in the tower. It could be a good place to rest. It could be full of more manticore. So maybe if we just mm. have a quick rest down here. Uh, for if those who need about it, all the other places we've been, Mallory, yes. every time we go in somewhere, they're not Something immediately happens. welcoming, are they? So perhaps we should be resting up like you see. Mm. That seems wise. Then we, can, then we can see the blood flowing tomorrow nicely in the daylight. You saw <laughs> so much blood flow today, didn't you? I <laughs> know, I know. I'm so enlightened. Enlightenment all over your face. Yes, Look at that. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting this. I thought you guys were struggling, but I see it in your eyes. Okay, let's sleep. All right. <laughs> Let, we'll expedite this this uh, this one. I do need a mm. bushcraft roll with a chuck a bone on it for the uh, tent. Chuck a bone. Oh, I've got a bone on it. Chuck a bone. Oh, I, no, that's right. No, that's right. I was going to say. That'd be a good auto tune really song, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, I got a five and I needed an eight. And he's a man, you're good with this tent, Digby. Yeah. Haven't failed with the tent yet. Yeah. He's um despite having slept Somehow. mostly outside, um, Grub is is just slowly picks himself up and heads into the tent. Just quietly. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, and he's he's uh, well, he, just could, could you help Grub? 
a little scene, so we're having another. Oh, he, he'll scene. get asleep. He's got to. No, no, no. Help! Oh. Not, not help. Oh, oh, the right. little... okay. I thought it was that code word we set up for the old. No, 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 bit, no. But... The other, the other help, you, you the didn't... one that that makes them feel better. Sure. Help him off sure. to the afterlife. <laughs> yeah. Leave him out not, of his life. Put him, put him out of his life. Like, put him out of his life. Yeah. Feel <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mallory, I'll I'll lift him in. Oh, he's just so tiny, isn't he? He's so helpless he's and frail. tiny. His, his bones he's will so just small. go pop, 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 if we need this. He just reaches up and just <laughs> touches at your foot. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Did you guys want to do the same sort of uh, watching of shifts uh, yes. through the night? All right, mm. it's going to be another fairly uneventful night there's some strange sounds coming from up uh the the mountain like what sort of sounds like not bird sounds like a or like bird strange sounds. bird sounds like squawks oh. and and cries but it sounds like words that are being squawked or cast out with this high shrill sound um but it's pretty sporadic uh, uh and it's it sort of gets hidden away by other um, forest sounds as well. Again, nothing interrupts your night despite your great watch. Um, and the morning arrives and the sight that you're seeing now is quite different to what you saw at dusk and uh, day. The mist is sort of lifted off just a little bit um, this morning and it's get able, you're able to see almost the entire way up to the top. And the the shape of the spire is a little more pronounced now with the the morning light on it. Um, and it's this beautiful sort of green uh, spire. It's clearly a spire, a tower, man-made building, but it's covered in what looks to be foliage right atop this mountain. It looks like it's going to be a good, hard journey to get to the top. But um, as you move on, you see that this path does indeed continue. It's it's sort of meandering up this this mountain. Um, there's like a drop uh, off on your right and a steep climb on your left as you make your way up this path. The path being wide enough for like a cart and a half. You know, it's like it's it's barely keeping um, wide enough for, the, for the cart. Every bar, every block has a cart and a half. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah, that's good quality good yeah. campaign. Purple cut. Um, but the, the the journey is treacherous. It's slow. It's very rocky. The path hasn't been maintained in could be a hundred years. Um, there are, again, like making your way through the <laughs> iron <laughs> forest. <laughs> Just the fact it hasn't been maintained in a hundred years. It may as well have never been maintained. It's yeah, just funny to me. Like, oh, I don't know why that's funny. Dude. It's like New Zealand roads. <laughs> yeah, it's it's almost like making your way through that iron forest. That you, there are points where you really need to help the cart over big blocks of rock. Um, mm. And there are p or other landslides. Parts where there's been landslides, there have been big chunks that are missing that you're gonna have to like sort of take larger steps over and help the wheels across that kind of thing. Um, but there's a um, there there's a point where just as you're going on, I'm just gonna just. Can I just get one more awareness roll from everybody, please? Oh no! Oh, manticores! Oh, God. <laughs> just another manticore. Oh, phew! Six this time, so I've succeeded. I also got a six and needed a fifteen. Wilgus fails with a seventeen. <gasps> what happened? Mallory got a six. Six, 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 six. six. Of the oh. manticore. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, are you guys sort of following that same sort of uh, grouping that you were that you held uh, as you were making your way through the, the Iron Forest? <sighs> Christoph's dead, so that's just. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what? No. I'm in the cart. There's like this sc this screaming, just like this bird cry, but mixed with a with a voice, uh, uh, like a human voice, um, and it just screams out from above, like "Give it to me." And it just you look down, you, Wilgus, you Boys. look up, you look up at the, the at the last moment to see this bird, this this uh, 
this strange twisted form of uh that's like a creature that's blending like the feathers and and wings of a bird with this twisted human-like form these soulless <gasps> black eyes as it flaps its wings and it's 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 got no clothing on so it's like this naked weird human woman with these wings and feathers just lands down on top of you um Wilgus and she's like grabbing at your satchel trying to get your rations like trying to get your food out of your bag um and she's just screaming and clawing at you um and that's uh that's where we'll finish it for tonight should have gone for Kristoff. well yeah that <laughs> i feel bad everything always attacks Kristoff. <laughs> that's good <laughs> why was that funny by the way a series of uh, puns, but it's oh, a it? harpy. It's yes, a harpy. it's a harpy. It sounds like a harpy. He. Ooh, nasty. A, a little harpy. I think it's an invalid harpy that doesn't oh. have any, <laughs> any hit points. Yeah. It's got no uh, hit points. That's or why skills. It, that's why it needs. <laughs> that's why it needs your food. <laughs> Yeah, it's got some breadcrumbs in there. Normally, <laughs> yeah. you would have made the um, the path through the forest with the breadcrumbs, but it just rocks. I'm getting serious. The last unicorn vibes from this game. We've had a pervy tree, a manticore, <laughs> a harpy. What's the? We need like. What's what? the last unicorn? What's that? The last you. Oh my gosh, my friend, you need to go out. Run I do need to go watch out, just in la- general. Watch The Last Unicorn. Stop watching One Piece. I'm not going to stop watching. And one watch one. the animated ah. movie The Last Unicorn made is it, in... Is it an anime? Like the late 70s, no, the 1980s. Oh. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Is it J- Japanese music, anime? Oh, it's Rankin no, and Bass. No, it's American. And oh, the music, mind. I think, is by the band America. So oh. it's really awesome. Okay, okay. It's like dead. That's cool. Yeah, that sounds really good. Mia Farrow, Jeff Bridges, Christopher Ooh, Lee. Not Mia Farrow. Ridiculously and quotable. Angela Lansbury. Like, there's what not a you... week goes by that I don't quote something from the, the oh, last Oh, okay. I'd have to check that out. What's wrong with Mia Farrow? What happened there? What? Did she marry Woody Allen? Ah, oh, right, right. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, there's something... Did you participate in the game session? Give yourself I did. Give yourself a little tick for that. Did you explore a new yeah. location? You absolutely did. It was called the yeah. Forest. Did you defeat one or more dangerous adversaries? Hell yeah. Yes. Did you overcome an obstacle without using force? Yeah, stones. Forest. <laughs> okay, I'll just give it to you guys. I want you guys to do some leveling up. Did you give in to your weakness? Yes. yes. Slip nice. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, all right, we'll start with Wilgus. There's a button. There's a button that rolls them all. Didn't we learn that last <gasps> yes, week? Yes, we've got that oh, yeah. new magical button. Uh, yeah. Okay, so um, I'm doing knives, evade, awareness, healing, and swords. Any chance for an eighteen? No. Yeah. I clicked it, rolled it all at once, and did you? Nothing. No, here we go. Um, I for some reason it sent it to me. Do you see them at all? I see them all, but I failed them all. Oh shit! Yeah, you did. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These are great rolls for if you were trying to actually utilize the skills. Yeah. Um, and honestly, the the higher your skills, the harder it is to level them up. So unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Uh, Mallory. Right, okay, gonna try the magic button. Uh, has it done anything? Not nope. yet. What, what are they, what are you rolling? What have you got ticks next to? Oh, uh, I was going to roll for awareness, bushcraft, healing, and bows. All right. Uh, It's, is, is it rolling with the magic button? No. I don't think it's working. Okay. Oh, weird. Sorry, peeps. I'm going to do it one by one. Okay. 
Okay, awareness. I need 13. Ah, nope. Didn't get it. I got it too. Okay, bushcraft. 13. Nope, didn't get that one either. Got a nine. <laughs> Healing. Got to get over an 11. A six. Wow. And a bow. Got to get over a 17. So. 14. Nope. Big ducky oh, this time. <laughs> Is that nothing for you either? Nope. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay. Uh, it's okay. Let's go over to Christoph. Yeah, it found everything. So <laughs> okay. <move it> on. <laughs> I'm going to try the um, the roll all button. Yeah, Tell cool. me if you see something. Here yeah. we go. Okay. Uh, awareness. Mm -hmm. I did get to advance that, which is good. Um, evade. I did not get to advance. Spot hidden. I got to advance. Ooh. I did not get to advance my hammers. Does it automatically I'm never get to advance my hammers? Does it automatically advance them for you, or no? Ooh. With the magic, button. yeah, it should do. It, yes, it, yes, it has. Hey, damn, that's good. Yeah. All right, um, Digby. Uh, I'll do that too. I'll roll a bunch of dice. Oh man, you got With two G. How many did you roll? Uh, six or seven. Seven. Okay. Advance you... awareness. Uh, it's a success. No, that's that's a fail. You have to roll. Oh, it's a fail. Oh, yeah. it's a fail. <laughs> of course. Uh, bluffing's a fail. Bushcraft is a fail. <laughs> Evade was a success. Healing nice. was a fail. Uh, spot hidden was a fail, and knives were a fail. <laughs> okay. This was... <laughs> All right. This was a bad level up night. <laughs> No, evade. Not there. <laughs> yeah, evade. Even though I've got a bane to evade. Honestly, okay. evade is a good one to have. I think uh, Christoph showed that with evading. Oh, no, I, first oh, I don't have an evade attack. to my armor. Um, I have. Uh, I, <laughs> with sneaking, I've got a, a bane. Yeah. But not for bit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Next time. Rolls. Next Great time. Oh. oh. Where's Reagan? Where'd he go? You guys hear Reagan's me? frozen in time. He looks so uh, happy too. Yeah. <laughs> he does. He looks youthful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really does. Just... Um, ignore that, guys. I bumped my computer and my computer is a rickety piece of garbage. I don't... <laughs> this is so... Oh. I don't know yeah, what's... He's, 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 he's frozen again. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes. Frozen. Okay. Frozen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why my camera. I bumped my computer, and uh, I think my like USB cable is rickety. Oh, oh, oh look, it's gone. Put it back in. Logo's that. That's a backwards Nvidia broadcast logo, I think. It's like Nvidia with the green. <laughs> I don't know. This may <clears> or may <throat> not work. Oh. oh, there he is. Oh. Hey, we missed you. I'm back. Um, goodbye, everyone. Um, thanks, thanks for playing. We're finally at the bottom of this spire. I thought I, uh, I thought we might have gotten to the top tonight, but that's all right. I think next week is going to be a really good session. We're going to uh, see what happens with this crazy harpy digging around in uh, Wilgus's sack, and then make our way to the top of the spire and figure out what's going mm. on up there. Or just get killed by the heart. Yeah, yeah most likely. <laughs> yeah, look, that nothing's killed you guys yet. Yeah. You guys have managed to stay alive so far, so I think I've I've got all faith in you guys. <laughs> uh, thanks to everybody who came along and watched. Thank you so much for watching, um, and we'll be back next week for some more. And um, yeah, thanks, thanks team. Thanks everybody. Thank you, Rogan. Thanks, you guys. Hopefully, we do a bit of level up cool. next next week. We've got to get some level ups. Uh, I, I don't want to be too. All right, good night, everyone. Ciao. Bye. -bye.